This is Miss Brittany Traptrack. She is a first grade teacher at Hazel Township Early Learning Center. Brittany, how long are you teaching? This is my second year. Second full year of teaching. Second full year, yep. Uh, Miss Traptrack, in your direct group, what focus standard are you teaching and how are you differentiating it for the three different groups? In direct, we're focusing on the focus standard describing characters, settings, and events using key details. We're going to be doing a cold read using the level readers, which are already differentiated. So for instance, the starfish, they will be reading a more detailed story and they won't need as much guidance um, or support from me. The jellyfish, they'll be reading the orange level, which has a little bit easier words. It still incorporates the phonics level that we're going over and they'll need a little more guidance. And then the seahorses, they will be reading the purple level readers, which has easier words. It has a lot of pictures, it has labels, and I will give them more prompts and I will help them send out words. But the overall theme is? The overall theme, I'll be asking them comprehension questions that use key details to describe and identify character setting and um, main idea. Tell us about the collaborative group. What's, what do you expect the collaborative group to learn and how is that differentiated? In the collaborative group, we're learning about a diphthong. Um, it makes the ow sound. Um, and here we call them our band-aid letters. They're O-U and O-W. Each group, they'll be using clip cards. They'll be reading a word that has an O-U or an O-W. They'll have to read the word and they'll use um, a clothespin. And they have to put the clothespin on the picture that it matches. And then they write the word on their assessment. Um, the starfish, they'll be using the clip cards, they read the word, they clip, um, they clip it to the, the picture, they write it on the assessment, and when they're done, they will have to be writing one of the OUOW words in sentences on the back. For the jellyfish, they will be doing the same activity, but they will only be doing the sentences as an extension. For the seahorses, they will be doing the same activity, they'll be reading the same words, however, the diphthong OU or OW will be highlighted. So they will be reminded that it makes the ow sound. But they're all doing OU and OW. They're all reading the exact same words. Um, which this will just help remind the seahorses um, where it makes the ow sound. Um, phonics, it's really hard. We teach them to sound out letter by letter. But once you get into vowel teams or blends or diphthongs, they need to remember the skill. They need to remember what sound it makes. So this will help them do that. So how do you teach this activity before you say, ready, set, go, you're going off to your collaborative. Tell me, how do you teach it? Um, we always meet whole group on the circle right before. I tell them exactly what they're going to do in each group. Um, I also model exactly what they're going to do. Um, if there are pictures, I tell them what the pictures are. I tell them the words. I show them exactly what materials they're going to use, where everything goes, everything's labeled. So pretty much modeling. We model everything. I love the fact that you're telling them what the pictures are so they're not spending time trying to figure out what that is. Well, and sometimes they are tricky. Sometimes some of them even trick me. So that saves me time, that saves them time. So telling them what the pictures are so then they'll be ready. And do you have a leader in each one of those groups? Yep, we have a group leader. Um, so they know if they need help, they'll go to the group leader. And we also have a computer helper in each group. So if there's a problem on the computer, they'll go to their computer helper so they won't be bothering me in direct so I don't have to take my time away from the direct group. So we're going to take a real quick walk around your room because I think it's outstanding. And maybe you want to just want to tell us what I'm filming as I'm going around. Um, so over here, um, a couple weeks prior to this, we learned about soft C, soft G. So we have a chant that we say every morning in circle. Um, it says soft C, soft G, give it a try, C E, C I, C Y, G E, G I, G Y. So it helps them remember. So they kind of say, they could probably do it for you. How about do me? Let me hear that soft G. Ready? Soft C, soft G. Soft C, soft G. Give it a try. Give it a try. C E C I C Y. C E C I C Y. G E G I G Y. G E G I G Y. D I Y. D I Y. D I Y. D I Y. Our diagrams. Um. So every again every day in circle before we start the day, I ask them what the diagram is. And one of them will respond by saying it's two letters that make one special sound, and they're all the moves that we make. So. Okay. Show me. Alright, boys and girls. S H. S H. C H. C H. W H. W H. P H. P H. T H. T H. Or, remember the T tickles your tongue. 
and then they're just sound posters. Um, it has some of the digraphs and the diphthongs are on there. Um, these are the Unit 5 word, sight words that we're going over. Um, we also go over the sight words every single day in circle from the beginning of the year till now because repetition, repetition, that's how you learn sight words just by seeing them. Um, our vocab, our sight words for the week. These are our hybrid groups. Yeah, so talk to me about this board. Spend some time explaining what this is. Okay, so in hybrid, um, I do two groups for math and I do three groups for reading. We have the sharks and then we have the whales. So um, whatever level they're on, I'll either put them in sharks or whales. One group will be with me in direct. One group will be on the computers working on iReady. Um, and what's nice is the groups can change so easily. So I'll just be like, oh, you're a shark now, or you're a whale now. So if they're high flying and they need to be moved, or if they're struggling a little bit, I could just move them, and it's real simple. Um, same thing with re reading. Um, we have the starfish, we have the jellyfish, and we have the seahorses. Um, this is the order that they're going to go in. And I have a star, so, I mean, they always remember, but this is just to remind me who the, the green is the leaders. And then the blue are the computer helpers, and we we go we change them. Um, and then this is the agenda for math and reading. Um, I like to use a lot of pictures for that. So like for math, we always use the math book. Um, and then for iReady, it's just the computer screen, and they know what they're going on. It's either math or iReady. And then today they're the stories we're reading, and then we're doing the clip cards. And you have your king and queen of kid writing posted. Very nice. Yep. So they, Julio and Viana were chosen this week for the, the king and the queen. Um, and then we're learning shapes. Um, each day we've been learning a different shape, but I review each one every day so we don't kind of just forget about them. Um, here's a 1 to 120 chart. Every day we count by 1s, then 10s, then 5s, then 2s. I also go over the double stacks every day from 1 all the way up to 10 so they remember them. Nice, and you have your focus, focus standards, standards posted. Yep. So these are, by the end of first grade, these are the main ones throughout the year, and then we're on Unit 6, so it's Unit 6. And then this is just what we're focusing on. So, so talk to me about this board. Um, so right now in reading, we're in the fourth quarter, so we're working on narrative narratives. So writing stories, writing personal narratives. Um, in math, we're working on geometry, so all the different kind of shapes. We're doing composite shapes. We're comparing and contrasting them. Um, right now, we're doing 2D, but next we'll work on 3D. Um, phonics, we're doing the vowel teams, the diphthongs, and the different sounds they make. Um, this is the story that our test will be on this week, and then our skill, so the O U O W, the hours. And superstar sentence board. What is this? Tell me about it. Um, so pretty much this, we do kid writing every day or as much as we can. This just tells them, and we go over this every day in circle. Start with your capital letter. Um, I call them finger spaces, and I tell them to use two fingers. Their end marks. We go over each end mark and what they mean when we use them. The sight words. I also have um, the word wall. So every sight word we learned up to this point from kindergarten until now is on the word wall. And then sounding out your words. So I tell them to blend. Use their fingers. Um, every sound that they hear, they write. And then they read it. Does it make sense? And how often do you do writing? Um, I try to do it every day, unless time just gets away from us. But mostly every day. And our pride wall. Yep, so that's just where they get their marks on their cards. Once they fill up um, a card, they get 10, they pick a prize from the bin. And it's leveled, so level 1, level 2, level 3. Most of them are in level 3 now because it's so late in the year. And what's this? Um, so at the beginning of the year, we went over lining up 5S style, make it straight, single file, still silent with a smile. So it just reminds them how to line up. And this is your word wall. Yep, that's the word wall. So every sight word from kindergarten until first grade is on there. So when they're, they have magnets on them, so when they're writing, if they forget how to spell a sight word, but they know it's a sight word, they just go back, they go to whatever it starts with, they take it off, and then they put it back on. So they could use that during kid writing. And the last is, tell me about your grammar wall. Um, the grammar wall pretty much goes over all the grammar skills that we worked on. 
Um, and this goes back to the focus standards. Our series is so wide and there's so much, but um, the focus standards, it has us break it down. So each quarter or each week, we focus on something different. So we really get, get a work on them and the kids get a really good grasp on them. And this just kind of reiterates, they can look back as a reminder. Where did you find these? Um, it's actually on the O drive. So it's on the O drive. And then some of them we don't, like some of them that were on there, we don't use. I just put the ones on the wall that we always talk about. And Is there I anything kind of else in them. here that you want us to see? What about the place value? Oh, place value. We talked about place value. Say that again? Place value. Nice job, Jaden. Thank you. Come up and show us the place value, Jaden. This was unrehearsed. This is the place value that's thousands, this is hundreds, tens, and ones. Ones are the cubes, tens are the long sticks, hundreds is the big cube, and thousands is the biggest cube. And what's your name? Jaden Corchado. Excellent job, Jaden Corchado. No one told you to do that, did they? Me five. This is for collaborative. Explain this. What is this? Here? Um, so I, we do our groups: starfish, jellyfish, seahorses. Uh, this is either where they get their materials. Um, starfish and jellyfish usually get them right here on the white counter or the white bookshelf, and the seahorses are in here. And then when they're done, they just put it in their bin, so they line right up, so it doesn't waste time. So when they're done, when they're done with their assessment, collaborative, and then you check it. Yep, their assessment's always here. Um, I usually make them. It's just something simple so that I can assess and see if they know what they're doing and just hold them accountable. And then whenever they're done with this, they'll just put it in their bin and they'll line up. So if anybody who's watching this wants to get in touch with you, how can they? They can email me, um, trapcheckb at hasdk12.org. You want to spell that for people like me? T-A-R-A-P-C-H-A-K-B <laughs> uh, at hasdk12.org. Okay, let's see uh, your hybrid groups. Who can tell me what sound are we working on this week? Gabriella. Ow. Ow. So we're working on our bandy letters. They all say ow. Who could tell me one thing that says ow? Rihanna. O U. O U. What's another one, Gerald? O W. O U and O W say ow. Okay, so in collaborative, you're going to do your clip cards. Remember, you read the words together, you sound them out together. Okay, your clips are already in there, so we don't have to count them out. Over the sounds, everyone say cow. Cow. Owl. 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 Clown. Clown. Frown. 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 Frown is when you're sad. Brown. Brown. Crown. Crown. Plow. Plow. Okay, remember the plow is the truck that pushes the snow when it snows. Howl. Howl. Okay, the dog is howling up at the moon. Um, who could tell me what are you going on when you're on a ready? Calvin. Reading. Reading. You're going to do a reading. When you're with me and direct, we're going to be doing a cold read. Okay, so you're going to read to me the best as you can. Okay, it's going to have our sight words, and it will have a lot of our O U O W words. Okay, all right. Jellyfish, you're going to be with me first. Starfish, you'll be over here in collaborative. Seahorses, you'll be on the computer on I ready. <coughs> Where the story takes place. Okay? Point to the title 
And we're going to read the title. Ready? Go. Thumb. Jingle. Crash. Again. Thumb. Jingle. Crash. Alright, open it up. And number two on the bottom. Point to the first word. Ready? Go. Early, Early one day, Margo saw a sign play in the band that sounds like fun. Margo, he walked into the band room. Good. Early one day, Marco saw his son playing in the band. That sounds like fun, thought Marco. He walked into the band room. Who could tell me what is the setting of this story? Where are they? Rihanna. They're in the band room. What are they playing? What are they playing? Emmanuel. Some instruments. For instruments. And what do instruments do? What were what were we talking about all this week? What do instruments do? Do you know? They make sounds. Okay? So our instruments are making sounds. Alright, point to the first word. What are you doing right now? Why are you cleaning up? Because you're running the bell. The second bell is for, is for the computers. Say that again? The second bell is for the computers. Thank you. Let's go over our sight words first. Who can tell me this word? Joelle's. Answer. Everybody say answer. Answer. What's this word? What's Beth? Door. Everyone say door. Door. What's this? Calvin. No. Everyone say enough. Enough. Caitlin. Brought. Everyone say brought. Brought. Jaden. Everyone say eyes. Eyes. This word. Gabriella. Busy. Everyone say busy. Busy. Good. All right. Who can tell me what's our skill this week? What sound are all of our words saying? Jaylene. Ow. Ow. Who can tell me one thing that says ow? Gabriella. O W. O W. Joelis. O W. Good. I'm gonna write some words. Let's see if we can get them. Who could read me this one? Caitlin. Ground. What is it? Ground. Everyone say ground. Ground. Okay, what's making the owl sound? Calvin. The O U. Try this one. Who's that? Flower. Everyone say flower. Flower. We're saying ow and flower. Calvin. O. The o. O -W. o. w. Good. Point to the title. Ready? Go. Down on the farm. Good. Down on the farm. Open. And we'll have a number two on the bottom. Let's read the title of chapter one. We get to the page, point to the first word in the title.
Let's read the title of chapter one. Everyone's pointing. Caitlin. Ready? Go. Where, Where is the farm? Go. Punch to the bottom. Ready? Good. My name is Jackie, and I am a city girl. And then what do you do when you get the word? You, you're going to write it on the paper. Okay. Right. And why is that yellow? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, you, it's because it's, it's, on the, it's on the board. And it makes the what sound? Does it look like where is the big red barn? Where are the cows? You're just in time for dinner. Next page, let's read the title of chapter two. Ready? Go. What's that sound? Good. Point to the bottom. We're going to read it. Ready? Go. Sit down and eat. All right, boys and girls, I want you to find a sight word on this page. So look for one of our sight words. I want you to point to it, and I will be right back. I'm going to see who can find a sight word when I come back. Okay, so the direct group was given something to do, and the teacher walks around the collaborative, making sure that they're on task and doing what they're supposed to do. She'll also walk around and make sure that the independent are where they're supposed to be. Brittany, for a second year teacher, this is pretty amazing. Thank you. And you did a very, very fine job. Do you want to tell us what you think about hybrid? What, are you, what do you like about it? And what are some of the challenges? Um, I'll start with the challenges. The most challenging thing for me was learning how to differentiate in collaborative. Um, I learned that it's easiest to start way at the beginning of the year. Just model for your students, show them exactly what you want them to do. Um, when we started the year, I put green X's on the floor to show them where to line up. I have labeled bins for everything, so that just makes everything flow much better. Also, it's a lot of preparation, um, but now I have a lot of this stuff from last year, so eventually it's not a lot of work at all. Benefits, um, first I think you build rapport with your students. Um, it's nice having this small group because I can see exactly what they're learning, who's growing. Um, it gives you a lot of assessments. I read these assessments on it, on its own. Here I can use observation. Over there I get a, a formative assessment. Um, you can differentiate. That's probably the best part. Um, 
So you can provide enrichment for your top group, you can differentiate for your bottom group. So they're all getting what they need. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm having a mind blank. No, that was excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Great job, boys and girls. What do you say? Thank you. I'm very impressed. Good job.